Hi, I'm here with Dundee Richardson from FloraCraft, and we are making some great styrofoam projects. What are we making? We are making ants today. And we've got a red ant, a black ant, and a flying ant. So we've got yes. a whole army of ants here. We so do. what do we need? We do. To get started, we'll need two inch styrofoam balls, one and a half inch, and two and a half inch eggs, chenille stems, toothpicks, a dish for your paint, paint brush, some acrylic paint, some tacky glue, cutting tools, and some craft nippers. Okay, how do we get started? To get started, we're gonna insert toothpicks into all the body parts. And load your brush up real well. And if you go in a circular motion, you can make sure to get the paint in all those crevices. Now that's a great tip too. By holding it with the stick too, you don't get paint all over. That's great for kids too. Exactly. And you just want to make sure you have a nice even coverage. And now you can add water too to the paint too if it's a thicker. If it's a thicker paint, it's nicer to water it down because you will have a nice a nicer flow, and it'll help get into all those little crevices. Okay, so we want to paint all four of our pieces and let them dry totally. Okay, okay we've got them laid out here. Okay, so we have the head. Then the trunk is actually one piece on the ant. But we divided it into two pieces because some of some species have a division there, and yes. then the metasoma. Yes. Okay, and that's where the poison is. Yes. Okay. All right. So we've got our parts. So now what do we do? Now we're going to shape them um, okay. because the the front of a, a ant's face is a little bit pointed. So in order to do that, you're just going to lay the and push it right into the table. Okay, I'm going to do that along with you. So we're just pushing it down yep. onto a hard surface. Yep, and you're going to want to do it just on one side of the ball, and that makes a nice little point for his, for his face. Okay, I'm getting mine. All right, I'll keep working on mine okay. while you're getting yours. And now the other ones, you're just going to lay him down and put the, the point of his face out. Take the other body segment and push it right, push it pretty firm. Okay. And lay, hold that one, push this one on, smash it right in there, and last the body right in there. And that just gives you nice flat surfaces to attach okay. the parts together right. with. Now you're just going to cut three little two inch pieces of chenille stem. Okay. Insert one into the back of the head about halfway, push on a body segment, another chenille stem, another body segment, mm -hmm. and the last part. You know, it's funny too, the, um, the styrofoam has such a different consistency when it has the paint on it. Yeah, yeah, it is, a, it gives it a little, it's kind of like thicker, yes. right. Got our ant ready. Okay, what's next? Next, you're going to make his legs. And an easy way to do that is about half a stem mm -hmm. is a leg. Okay. And I have some already, already folded here. So you're just going to make a small fold or mm -hmm. bend, another bend, another bend. And another bend, and this last bend is what you'll insert into the ant. Okay, and um, ants have three pairs, and they're all inserted into the trunk area, right? Yes. Okay. Got one. So the longer piece goes in. Okay, make sure I've got those right. And then you can play with these a little to make them. Yep, make him crawl and make him do what you what you wish. Oops. Okay, so now once we get our legs in, um, you're gonna well. start putting on his little face. Okay. Mine isn't quite as pointy as yours. Let me point that down a little bit more. Okay. Okay, what's on his face? These are his little pinchers. Oh, okay. That's what he picks his food up with. That's what he carries away our picnics with? Exactly. <laughs> okay. I'll put those in. Okay. 
Next we can put on his feelers and all I've done is taken a half chenille stem, bent it in half, and curled out those corners. Okay. Simple, simple. And that goes right on top. And they kind of bend out forward because that's what they feel and smell oh. with. Okay, now do you need to glue these in at all or do they kind of stick? Or? They hold pretty well. Um, okay. If they're going to get handled, it's best to put a, a dab of tap, tacky glue on before okay. you insert them. Okay. And now for the little eye, I just curled up real tightly a couple wraps of stem mm -hmm. and then left a little tail to insert into the head. And you just push that right in. Okay. Oh, and his eyes go back farther. Okay. Yeah, a little bit. Those in the right spot. And if you put them in the wrong spot, you can just move them. Yeah. Because it's not going to show. Well, let's take a look at those easy. finished ants. And we've got one with wings in the middle, too. Yeah, the So queen. we've got it all covered. <laughs> queen ant. Well, thanks, Donnie. Thank you so much. Thank you.